um, I just thought, well, look, this might be worthwhile learning on how a RV caravan hot water system works. Um, this is this one I've never worked on. It's an electric one by the looks of it. Uh, maximum pressure is 400 kPa's. That's working pressure. Uh, holds 14 litres. Um, I've got it upside down at the moment, but there is a bit of, I don't want no water all over the place, but I'm going to get water anyway. Uh, but this fridge, I tell you what, it's definitely serves, serving a purpose as a table. A couple of star picket posts on the end, measured to the right length, so it's only so far off the ground. I think it's three foot off the ground. Um, working a good tree. They make good tables when they've got the nice full back like this. Put your case back on here once you get your motor out of the fridge. Screw your doors shut so they stay shut. They also make good cupboards too, so if you want to save them, you don't want to actually put them in landfill or put them to your scrap metal dealer, which you don't get much for a fridge anyway, because all the foam that's in them, they're, they're pretty much contaminated. They, they've got to do it as like a, a waste disposal, things like that. But anyway, um, enough about the fridge for our, for our table. Um, like I said, it's working a treat. We're going to be pulling this apart to uh, find out what we're going to get out of it. I know we're going to get straight away a bit of brass there, probably uh, a bit of stainless maybe. And also to, if you're in the competition, uh, for guessing how much for this week I got in the follow-up, by all means, put a comment below. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of comments so far, so keep them rolling. So, and also to make it as a unit number, not a decimal point number, because that will not count as a decimal point number. That when you go, say, uh, I'll just give an example. Say you go four zero point uh, two de uh, and two numbers after that, that will not count. It has to be a unit number. Okay, that's that's basically what you got to do because it's just not going to count with the decimal point. It's not a dollar dollar amount. It's a unit amount. Yes, you do put a decimal point in to put a dollar amount after you do your units and that sort of thing. But I'm being fair for everyone on how many units it would be. Right. All formalities out of the road, let's get stuck into this little thing. I know there's a lot of plastic, so our plastic's going in this one here. Our little trash can, I've got to empty that one out. She's full at the moment. Mind me having a beer too. It's late in the afternoon. I thought, oh, well, I definitely need one. It's been a hot day, been out and about too. So anyway, I think that's only just sitting there. No, it's got a bit of wire on it. I better put the old glasses on. Bear with me, I better go and find them. Found the old glass. Geez, they need a good clean. Oh, well, inside of the shirt. Can't see without them, all this close-up stuff. Everything's blur. Just goes all fuzzy, fuzzy. You can't see a thing. That's what happens when you get old. But anyway, that's the way it is. That's the way the cookies crumble, isn't it? No, that's just a, uh, just a wire going across there. It's not the good wire, it's not copper, it's only that crappy stuff. Okay, that just slips on. I reckon just a screwdriver and break that plastic. Look at that. There's a bit of a circuit board there. What is that going to? Very interesting here. Oh, it's only going to two terminals. Goes into that circuit board. Oh, okay. First time for me. Oh, the, look at that circuit board. There's a... Is that a solenoid there? That is a solenoid, transformer type of solenoid. Um, that there will be taking off. That one there maybe, bit of copper in there as well. There's a bit of copper transformer there. The little one, once you take the paper off. Um, and then it's basically straight into the scrap steel after that. Oh, you can take out the little fuse if you want, but no, I leave them there. They're not worth much. Um, two cents even if you'd pay that I wouldn't be able to sell it for two cents anyway that's the circuit board deal with that later put him up here ah what else are we going to pull off this we'll take that wire out cut the wire out cut cut it son cut it son cut it son yeah she's tin on the outside 
Got the magnet there, we can test it all out. Get the alfoil there. Aluminium foil. Peel that off, we can put that in our press. Everything's recyclable, no matter what you do. Plastic's recyclable too, but I don't recycle it. Oh, damn you, come here. There we go, there's one. Do it a bit different. Poke the screwdriver down there to cut the wire. There we go, I think we did. Plastic in tr trash there. Trash bin there. Right. Screw there. In the steel. Couple of screws here. Undo them by hand. They're only light and easy. Monstrous hands, strong hands. Now I'm getting on myself, eh? No, it's just that it's car it's a, it's cardboard, that's what it's screwed into, so yeah. Like I said, it's only the first time I've ever pulled one of these apart, so you're learning as much as I'm learning here. Um so yeah. Told you it was cardboard, good old cardboard. Pull that out. Lift that out, I reckon. Yep. This hot water system I actually got out of a um, street curbside dumpster. Um, it's a workplace one. So yeah, the top, the top may be stainless. Where's the magnet? It would be. Where's the grinder? We'll give it a grinder test. Yep, stainless. So if it sparks very dark red, stainless. Oh, we can unscrew it too. Sweet. And there's some cast alloy there. Um, that's because it's got a fan in the bottom by the looks of that. May have a fan. Not sure. No. Hmm. Don't know. See how we go. So yeah, don't forget to put your comment below um, in this video or previous video for unit amount. Um, yeah, what do I need here? This is a new one for me. Never pulled one of these apart. Come here, come here. I can get me magnet back. What do we need? Little light mill, little tech bit. Where are you? There. A little tray of tools. It's a handy tray of tools, that. Do do do. Do do do. Screws in steel. Screws in steel. That one there. That one there. Make you wonder why they changed it out. They probably went gas instead of the electric. Which is nothing unusual for a lot of people. They'll probably drain in their battery a fair bit in the RV. I think that's aluminium, that club. I gather it's aluminium. So we got some cast alloy there. Take all that rubber out. Clean it up as we go, get rid of the rubbish. Oh, that's stuck on. We're not going to get that off. Don't think. Oh, we might be lucky. No, we're going to leave it anyway. Go as dirty cast alloy. Spider webs. You're going to come off. Oh, that's the bottom half. That's what's going to come out. Oh, no, it's the whole, whole drum. Ouch. Pinch of my fingers. Well, well, well. How the hell are we going to get that out of there? Oh, quite simple. Whoa, spider. Spider. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Me don't like those black ones. The old black widow. Come on. Get out of there. Oh, there's a screw. He made his home. He's not making a home in here. I'm destroying it. Come on, out it. Make some noise. 
Oh yeah. Enough drama. Get rid of that bit of rubber. That bit of rubber there. Come on, out you come. Oh, it's stuck there. There we go. Shouldn't use a screwdriver as a punch, but I'm going to... Probably just as easy to use a grinder. Grinder in there. No. Now that'll be hot plastic. Harder plastic. Had a flare on the end of it, that's why I couldn't get it off. Right, this one's already cut. That should come out. There we go. Spidey's still in there. That's got the brass on it. Maybe copper wire, may not be. We'll find out soon. Sit it there. Sit this down there for now. Grab our broom, clean our bench down. A lot of rubbish in this. A lot of rubbish. Alright. So, in that, so far, a lot of rubbish, yes. Uh, that there, clean that up. Won't be much of a video, but at least we know what's in one of these. That's all stainless. The piping is stainless, gotta take the screws out, take the wires off of course. We might get to and uh, do some of this other cleanup over here too. See how we go with that, rubbish can go down there. Now, what I do with my wires, always, when I'm going through, checking my wires, use a pair of wire strippers. That's the crappy wire, got a bin for that, or I can't put it in the steel. Uh, so that is a nut, looked like a hex bit, I could not quite see it, one of those torque bits, got wash machines going in the background too, testing them out, so I've been busy, been very busy, had to go out of town last night to uh, try and deliver one and then the he said, no, I don't want it now. I thought, well, mate, you're going to have to give me some something for coming. So, yeah, he was polite enough to do that. It's good of him. He decided against it. After 24 hours and I get there, never mind. It's the way of the world. Someone else was doing the dealings for him and, uh, yeah, left him in the lurch. Take that off, go over there. Right there, that might be alloy. Alloy! Right, that's the drum done. Still got water in there. That would make good cooker for a hot water system. Well, it is a hot water system, but oh, it's peeing. It's a peeing. Jeez, it's got a lot of water in it. Siphon out. Oh, you can stay in there. Oh yeah. What are we going to do next? This thing here. Get the brass. Oh, oh, that's the regulator. And oh, oh yes, we get that out. Get the brass off that. Brass Texas eight. Do do do. I'm not one for grabbing the right sort of tool. As long as it undoes it. A little solenoid in there, I suppose. Yes, a bit of copper. You know, copper, copper, copper. Right. That'll have to come out of there. Little shifter, take it out here. 
do 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 little bobby shifter so it was a gas one but totally different to what i've ever seen like it's totally different to the one we've got um ours is way different to this but ours is old school in the rv that's why i said i'd never pull one of these ones apart because that machine sounds rattly that's the pump oh it's finished came up with an error code and then i just pressed start again and the error code went kept it went away but yet the machine was still working queer so i've got to do that cycle again i googled it and couldn't find anything about it so it didn't have a problem as far as i'm concerned i'll get on there Should have used a tech bit. Should have used a tech bit, boy. Is that a bit of copper? That is a bit of copper. Right. Lift that up. Come on, out you come. Thank you. There it is, a bit of copper there. We can go in as, I think that's stainless, that thing. Stainless with steel. It may be. Maybe stainless. I'll drill those out. Take all this extra stuff off. Oh, that's those darn things. I might leave that on that thing. Just get two and smack that out, and drill them out. Here with me, I'll be right back. Right, mine's a bit of shadow, we're getting a bit dark here. Had to put a light up for everyone. Stainless. That can go into there. Didn't need to unscrew nothing. Right, so that's our stainless. Goes with that. Steel is all done. Can go into there. That's alloy. Alloy. That up there. Now getting down to our bit of brass. Now yeah, brass taxes. Bit of copper. Right. Ah, uh, plan of attack. Take that off there. Then we're going to do that. Grab those. Grab those. Should just go and put it in the voice. I think I'll do that. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'll stand up straight. Bit of dirt in there. That's probably why they threw it away. It wasn't igniting. That's what the problem was. I found their problem. They've cut the line off. Oh, that's a hornet nest in there. Damn. 
Oh, that's all brass. That may be steel. Magnet, it'll tell us. Yep, there we go. Go in the steel bin. Always check. Always handy to check. All right, we've got a bit of steel in the end of that. Don't know how I'm going to get that out of there. Oh, that's the nest. I've unclogged it. So it's been sitting around for a while, probably. Come on, that's supposed to unscrew. Here's the vice grips. Oh, I broke it off. Well, that's even better still. Gets that bit of metal out. That's that out. What else have we got? A bit of light. I feel something rattling around in that. Clean it right out. Peel it back. No matter how you get the steel out, as long as you can get it out. Oh yeah, right, he says. It's my method. That is my method of way of doing things. No one else's. Thinking as I go. Hmm, grinder. That fixes everything. We all know that. Get the grinder out. Get the grinder, mate. The mess to fix it. Two. Chisel, chisel, chisel is not there. Chisel is over here. Small hammer. And we should be able to tap that top piece off. As soon as you tighten it. Oh, come on. There we go. Jesus. Jesus, come on, do my way, please. My way or go the highway. Now it's held there. Oh, might retrieve that piece. Here we go, good action. Break it out. Here we go, we succeeded. Right, we've got to get that O-ring out of there to make it clean brass. Because if you've got rubber of any sort, a bit of metal, they put it through as dirty brass. Found that one out many years ago when I was doing gas taps. Take all your O-rings out, everything like that, clean it up as best you can. You to get the better dollar like I've just done Do -do -do. come on not the best devices but it works steel down there right that's all done I, um, in the break there, when I had to go and get the me get the drill, I thought, oh, we'll get one of these and pull this apart. The old car stereo. I only got this, oh, 
I think it was a couple of days ago, I don't know. Found it on the side of the road, so I'm going to throw it out, because I know there's a bit of cast alloy there. So I thought, yeah, why not? Might be worth a video. Pick it up. Have a look inside. I've never opened one of these. All new. Where do we start? Where don't we start? I don't even know what's inside them. I'm not going to be able to use that. Could use a smaller screwdriver. Come here, boy. Right. She's there tight. For a car audio thing, you know. Flimsy things. Don't like small screws. But anyway, I could have just tossed it straight in scrap metal out there on the ute. On my white one. Getting ready for a uh, scrap run. I'm hoping. Dearly hoping before Christmas anyway. Let's hope so. And it may be only just this normal steel first. Uh, I haven't got another load for... Say I haven't finished off all the copper yet. I've got a whole heap of aluminium out the back. Extruded aluminium, cast aluminium. Uh, I might be able to take me cast steel. Deciding which tan I'm going to have to take it to. We haven't got a scrap metal dealer here that takes scrap steel. So we've got to travel to go and take it somewhere. So it's always over 100 kilometers away. Not much we can do about that, but pay for the fuel. And hopefully enough, when we get there, that we get enough back in our scrap steel. So I've been saving for, oh, a good six months so far on my scrap steel. Any fridge carcasses I've had to just sell off as they are. Now I've got a bloke that takes them and he shreds them up and I just take a trial load and said, oh, here you go, $50 for a trial load. It's not much, but at least I'm not going in the landfill. He shreds them and takes them into the scrap metal dealer and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's what he does. That's just locally. He'll only take the fridges because he's mainly only into cars and stuff like that. Oh, I've got a screw in the front. That's why it's not coming off. Told you I've never pulled one of these apart. No, nothing of it. Oh, it's got gold pins in there. Wow. We might be putting the circuit board with all our computer parts. That'd be good. I might even just take the gold pins out. Cut them off. That's a pretty good circuit board in there. Now. Now, what do we do? Does it just prise off or what? Looks like it. Must do. Must do. All you audio guys should know. Definitely having issues with this thing. Well, we'll just destroy it. No, can't do that either. Bugger. Oh, we're going to undo those screws. Too many screws in these. It can't be as many as the washing machine, though. Got a vehicle roaming around here somewhere. I can hear it by the ears. Might be a camper, but we've got no campers in, unless June's let one in. Hmm, her car. Yeah, there's a car down there. I might have to go and investigate this. Don't want to have to get a phone call, say, hey, coming down here and uh, see what's going on. They might be putting barbecues back into place because of the water going down. Yet to find that out. 
we had to raise our barbecues, the electric gas barbecues, because the water had come right up to it. But now it's gone down a good foot, 30 centimetres. Looks like we're starting to fall apart. Too many little screws for me. Oh, that got rid of that. Oh, that's all right. That's all I had to do. Wow. Cast alloy. Oh, look at that circuit board. Yeah. That might have gold pins on that one. Hmm. Take the ribbon off. Which one am I going to take it off? That's got gold pins in it. We might take it off that one there. Have a look in there. That's got gold pins as well. Ooh. Ooh okay. Take that out. We might be doing a post delivery for all of our gold recovery circuit boards. Um, send them down to Melbourne. Yet to find out how to do all of that. I think we got a boat in here. Cut those wires off. I got a bloke in mind on where to take it or we'll post it. We will leave that as intact. That's got gold recovery on there. Yes, we'll leave that one intact not much uh, what do we got on that can't actually see but there's two little motors there the rest can go into steel Jesus trying to get that out of there it's not much but sort it out uh, go back to the circuit board over here She's definitely had the dip, had the snuffed. She's all shorted out there. Got water over here. She's been, yeah, she's had it. She buggered, buggered. I'm gonna take that copper off there. That's about all I'll do. Take that off there, leave all the rest on there. Throw it the, into, not that ribbon. Wonder. I might be able to throw that into gold recovery. For, yes gold pins across there leave that all intact pull that out of there there may be some in there too don't know but there's none on that so we'll put the ribbon down there right take our copper off so we don't destroy the whole board use the side cutter so it looks better it does downgrade the board I'm not sure how much, but um, I want that little bit of copper. Can't get the other side. So where's this other screw? Do 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 Here we are. That into there. Any more? Yes, there's another one there. They're very hard to see. Look at that, and that can go in steel. Sort that out in a minute. We've still got this other board over here to finish off too. So we'll get back to the boards very shortly. The other board, I should say. That's that one off. The board still looks okay. So we'll put them into gold recovery, and I'll take that. 
put that there. Get our little motors off here. I could just whack it in, whack in with a hammer, I suppose. That's got to be done from the other side. Go from there. Get the little motors off and put them in motors. Get a bit better price than scrap metal price for normal steel. Get it wherever you can. Drain it where you can. If you want to do micro scrapping, micro scrap as much as you can. So if you've got a little motor like this, I don't pull them apart and get the copper out. I don't feel it warrants doing any of that sort of thing. Because by the time you get the motor out there, you, you spend a lot of time, like I am at the moment, spending a lot of time just to get it out. Could just whack in with a grinder and cut it apart too. But I don't want to create any sparks for this item. Yes, okay, I'm coming, washing machine. Which one was that? Oh, that one way over yonder. Rightio. That should lift out of there now. There. Turn you up this way. That's wrong screwdriver. Pull that out of the road. Undo that one. Mix the bead of geo. That should fall out. Maybe. Maybe not. No. Undo that. Take that up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Little hole down there. Get a bigger screwdriver, mate. Pop that off. A bit of plastic in there. Gee, that's a small screw. I can barely see it. That's motor number one. Motor number two. How are you held on? In through the plastic. just about out motor number two we're just going to put the rest in scrap I'm not going to worry about the little board you could if you wanted to uh, but I'm not today anyway let's get down to this little one what we were going to do we're going to take this part completely we'll put the remains in the steel like I was explaining uh, what have I done with those? They're over here. Take that out. Oh, I took it out all right. Broke it right off. And we're going to do that now. It's never happened to me to be like that before. Down, down. There we go, got it. Bit more copper. That's out of those little things. A little one here. A little bit of wire as well. It's already coming out. Right, that one there will stay. That looks like it may have some in it. Take that. No way if I break the board. Yeah, that's got copper in it. I won't be pulling that apart though. There's too much rubber there. I'll put that in with transformers. Uh, this one here. This little one here. Get him out of there. 
These are the easy ones. Just unwind it. Best ones ever. That goes into steel. We've got a little bit of copper. Right, so that was the hot water system and a car audio system. Not bad. Now also, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to put a unit number of how much I got uh, for Tuesday's follow-up, by all means, put a unit number, not a decimal point one. So if you've come this far in the video, everyone, don't forget to smash that like button. I should be saying, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, yeah. Oh, should make it short and sweet for everyone. We did get a bit of foil out of it too. Extruded, um, not extruded. Uh, cast alloy. Um, stainless steel, yeah. Bit of brass, copper, yeah. Not bad for a little video like this. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Special video. See who's the winner. Cheerio!